Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's been bugging me for a while, the curious silence from Republicans about the Federal Reserve since the Trump presidency. Republicans have historically been some of the harshest critics of the Fed, but ever since Trump came on the scene, their tune has changed. Why is that? Let's break it down. First off, let's talk a little history. Traditionally, Republicans have always kept a close eye on the Federal Reserve. Why? Well, the Fed controls a lot of things, like interest rates and the money supply, that directly impact the economy. Republicans have long argued that the Fed's expansionary policies, like printing more money and keeping interest rates low, lead to inflation and hurt the value of the dollar. During the Obama years, Republicans were all over the Fed for these policies. You had people like Ron Paul calling for the Fed to be audited, arguing it was distorting the economy and getting too powerful. Paul Ryan and other Republicans constantly warned that the Fed's money-printing machine would lead to massive inflation, though back then that inflation didn't really materialize. But the point is, Republicans were always ready to criticize the Fed for messing with the economy. Then came Trump. And this is where things get interesting. Donald Trump, unlike previous presidents, was super vocal about the Fed. He demanded lower interest rates, even when the economy was doing great. It was pretty wild to see a president so openly push the Federal Reserve to cut rates. Now, traditionally, Republicans would have been all over this kind of thing, calling it reckless and inflationary. But during the Trump presidency? Crickets. Republicans barely pushed back. In fact, some even supported Trump's efforts to pressure the Fed into lowering rates. Host, Trump even went after Jerome Powell, the Fed chair he appointed, for not cutting rates fast enough. And yet, GOP leaders stayed quiet, which is odd when you consider their past obsession with fiscal responsibility and limiting inflation. So why the sudden silence? Host, let's break it down. One reason for this silence could be that Republicans were afraid to challenge Trump. The Republican Party had transformed under Trump's leadership, and loyalty to him became more important than sticking to traditional economic principles. Another reason? The economy was doing really well during Trump's time in office, at least by some metrics like stock market growth and unemployment, so many Republicans probably didn't see a reason to oppose Trump's demands for low interest rates, even if it meant breaking from their usual stance on fiscal responsibility. Fast forward to today. Trump is no longer president, and inflation is a real concern. Prices are rising, and people are starting to feel it. The Fed has continued with its expansionary policies, pumping more money into the economy to deal with the fallout from the pandemic. Now you would think that Republicans would return to their old ways, criticizing the Fed for keeping rates low and inflating the money supply. But again, not much criticism. Sure, they've attacked Biden for spending too much, but criticism of the Federal Reserve? Not so much. So what gives? Why aren't Republicans holding the Fed accountable now that inflation is actually happening? One big reason could be partisan selectivity. Republicans might be avoiding criticizing the Fed right now because they want to focus their attacks on Biden and his administration's spending policies instead. By keeping the Fed out of it, they can hammer home their political message without complicating it with monetary policy debates. Another factor is internal party dynamics. The GOP has changed. The more populist, Trump-aligned side of the party isn't as focused on things like balanced budgets and fiscal conservatism as previous generations were. Traditional voices like Rand Paul, who used to lead the charge against the Fed, are being sidelined in favor of more populist messaging. So, what's next for Republicans and the Federal Reserve? Will they return to their roots and hold the Fed accountable? Or are we witnessing a permanent shift in how the GOP approaches monetary policy? What's clear is that the silence can't last forever. With inflation on the rise, and the economy facing serious long-term challenges, Republicans will eventually need to decide whether they stand for fiscal conservatism or if that was just a talking point when it was politically convenient. What do you think? Is this just politics as usual, or are we witnessing a real shift in Republican economic thinking? 
let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more deep dives like this.